orange juice because it tastes good and also because we think vitamin C is an important uh, commodity for overall health. Well, tonight we hear from one doctor who thinks that this essential vitamin could do a lot more. And our medical correspondent, Anita Brickman, is here to explain. Well, tonight, Jim, we're not talking about drinking the orange juice, and we're not even talking about swallowing a pill. Rather, some doctors are putting it directly into patients' bloodstreams to fight one of the deadliest diseases around. When Donna Gadowskis of Cherry Hill learned she had early stage colon cancer last December, she underwent surgery to take out the tumor. But this advertising executive did not want to have chemotherapy and radiation afterward. Chances that I still would have needed a costume bag when it was all over were pretty high, just from the damage, the tissue damage from radiation. Instead, she switched to an organic diet, took nutritional supplements, and began intravenous infusions of vitamin C. Every week, Donna gets 45 grams, more than 600 oranges worth, directly into her veins. Nobel Prize winner Dr. Linus Pauling began the vitamin C crusade 30 years ago, reporting that cancer patients who got high doses lived longer. However, two government studies with oral vitamin C supplements failed to produce the same success. Dr. Alan Magaziner, who practices complementary medicine, says he has had success over the past two decades with IV vitamin C. Breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, and lymphoma. Dr. Magaziner says that in high concentrations in the blood, vitamin C acts like a toxic drug, causing disease-fighting cells in the body to generate more hydrogen peroxide. It's an agent that can actually attack tumor cells, but yet leave the healthy cells healthy and intact. Magaziner says that works hand in hand with standard cancer treatments. They don't seem to get as many side effects from chemotherapy or conventional radiation. For Donna, a recent series of tests brought encouraging results. Right now she is cancer free. The vitamin C infusions, which cost about $100 each, are not covered by insurance and are not FDA approved. Most mainstream cancer experts, including Dr. Anil Rusky of the University of Pennsylvania, are skeptical. He says that while good nutrition can be a cancer preventive, as a treatment, vitamin C alone is unproven. It really needs to be studied in a um, systematic fashion. But Glenda Williams of Willingboro is a believer. She already credits vitamin C with helping her survive breast cancer. I feel better than I did prior to being diagnosed with cancer. Now, the studies doctors are looking for are finally happening at the National Institutes of Health. The NIH will soon publish several new papers on IV vitamin C as a chemotherapy agent. And soon, local researchers expect to open tests to scientifically prove whether these infusions actually extend lives. And Jim, at Jefferson Center for Integrative Medicine, they've been using this for a while as a nutritional booster. And again, more research is underway. This is by no means on the fringe of alternative medicine. A couple of years ago when, when people were taking a lot of vitamin C when they had colds and things like that, we were told that you could take too much, even by mouth, that it might become toxic inside the body. Now, if you have well, this kind of quantity, what, what's the well, issue Well, you are looking at this working as kind of a toxic drug. It is helping the immune system seek out the cancer cells. Mm -hmm. Many other vitamins, there's a much greater danger of overdose with those. But this is, we're talking about infusion specifically for cancer.